my name is Paul McAndrew, I'm the Politics and Society Teacher in Institute of Education in Dublin uh, and I'm here to give my analysis of the Limited Politics paper uh, from today. So I would say all in all the paper was very, very fair, straightforward uh, and also had wide ranging right from the very beginning of uh, the topic which is trend one, part of decision making, through active citizenship which is mainly to do with their project but there were still aspects of that that were brought into the paper rights and responsibilities were present and also the final section on globalization and sustainable development. So let me just take you through the paper. Uh, section uh, A, which is short answer questions, again, 15 questions uh, to have the choice, 10 of them you have to do, and you pick your 10 of your favorites. They're again, straightforward, broad ranging, uh, would have stimulated students, both sort of descriptive questions and all very sort of clear, and, 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 and sorry, analytical questions like, you know, give me two pieces of information about the Northern Ireland Assembly. Then we go on to the database question in section B. <coughs> It uh, was based on migration and immigration, two very really big topics in Ireland at the moment, and it was giving you two different documents. And the idea of here is for students to critically analyse both documents and be able to give a coherent idea about which document gives better evidence than the other. There's seven questions, and based on that, what the students are supposed to do, and again, particularly I think our own students in the Institute of Education would have done very well there because we've done an awful lot of work on this over the past years and the questions were clear, straightforward, would have stretched the students but I think they would have been able to do it. And then we get into the very final section, discursive essays. This is where students have to bring their own independent opinion, uh, critically analyse the opinions they have, the sources they use, the evidence they present all together in one coherent piece. And again, we have stuff like from a social contract, there was things about media, there was stuff about homelessness, um, uh, stuff about supranational uh, okay, sort of organizations as well really broad ranging really interesting questions probably one of the fairest papers that i have actually seen uh, in my time uh, as a politics and society teacher so i hope that was helpful and uh, best of luck